If there is a pistol category that has been a driver of development and innovation in recent years, it's been the Micro 9s, which are 9mm pistols smaller than what we would traditionally call subcompact. Their small size makes them ideal for concealed carry applications, and thanks to new designs, they have impressive magazine capacity. It's not uncommon for a Micro 9 to hold 10 rounds. In addition to compact size and capacity, many offer great ergonomics. These guns are popular for personal defense, everyday carry applications. The best Micro 9mm handguns offer many advantages. Springfield Hellcat Quickie embracing the micro-compact concept, the Illinois Concern cooked up a direct competitor to the popular SIG, and in many respects produced a concealed carry gun option that runs neck and neck with the original. No larger than a compact 380 ACP, the striker fired is among the smallest 9mm options available today. By the tape, it measures in at 1 inch in width, 6 inches in length, and weighs in at 18 ounce. Pretty dang concealable and easy to carry by anyone's standards. At the same tick, the Hellcat offers everything you'd expect out of a much larger concealed carry pistol, especially capacity. Out of the box, the three-inch barrel pistol boasts more firepower than nearly anything in its class, shipping with an 11-round magazine. Invest in a 13-round extended capacity magazine. Well, folks, you'll holster an iron flirting with a full-size pistol's capacity. The Hellcat trigger is great. The brake is a little crisper than the P365s, but it's barely noticeable. The stippling works at least as well, and maybe better than SIGs. Mossberg NC2 Mossberg jumped into the 9mm pistol market in recent years, and their new MC2 makes one of the best values in the category. Minted the MC2C, the double stack pistol vastly improves on the original NC1C's capacity while keeping proportions nearly the same. Holding 13 plus 1 rounds with its flush fit magazine, the pistol doubles the firepower of the single-stack 9mm. At the same tick, its barrel length and height are only fractions of an inch greater than its older brother. Quite a feat, one Mossberg pulled off by turning to steel magazines for more structural support. The MC2 Sk also has an accessory rail and comes optics ready with a cover plate. It features a comfortable grip design and texture, and flat face trigger. The beveled slide and white dot sights present a great and fast acquiring sight picture, and the gun is very controllable for a micro 9mm. The takedown method of the NC2 is also unique, in that you can easily remove the striker assembly prior to taking the slide off the frame, a safety feature that can prevent accidental discharges that happen more frequently than they should. The NC2 might not lead the pack in any single feature, but it brings a ton of value to the table as a great all around micro carry gun. Smith & Wesson M and P9 Shield Plus The M and P Shield Plus from Smith & Wesson is an updated version of the Shield & Shield 2.0 with increased capacity. Although it doesn't include a light rail, the grip texture, handling, and ergonomics of the Shield Plus are excellent. In the rapidly developing field of micro-compact pistols, capacity is important, and the 9mm Shield Plus comes with flush and extended magazines, with 10 plus 1 and 13 plus 1 capacity respectively. The M&P Shield Plus really shines in its early adoption of the new 30 Super Carry cartridge from Federal. The smaller diameter cartridge produces similar ballistic performance as the 9mm, but with increased capacity. The 30 Super Carry Shield Plus will hold an incredible 13 plus 1 and 16 plus 1 rounds in its flush and extended magazines. The Shield Plus is in a whole other category of awesomeness. It's not just an upgraded shield. Sometimes in life, the sum of the parts add up to more than you could ever expect them to. That's what has happened here. The Smith & Wesson M and P Shield Plus 3.1 pistol combines everything Smith & Wesson knows about making a great pistol into a concealed carry handgun. Smith & Wesson CSX The Smith & Wesson CSX is a departure from the striker-fired Smith & Wesson M and P series and is a hammer-fired pistol with an aluminum frame. In the current field of 9mm micro-compact pistols, the CSX is the tiniest. It comes with two interchangeable textured backstraps, and the otherwise smooth frame has abrasive texturing on the front of the grip as well. As expected from a single action, the trigger is snappy as ever, enhanced by a flat-faced shoe, though the fact it requires a thumb safety to carry it loaded might leave many cold. After decades of acclimation to pistols sans a manual safety, 
at least Smith & Wesson has opted for an ambidextrous switch. A few other nice touches are the easy tab at the rear to aid caulking, a comfortable 18-degree rake to the grip and glare reduction serrations atop the slide. It comes with flush and extended magazines with capacity of 10 plus 1 and 12 plus 1 respectively. The CSX has a short take-up, crisp trigger, and is very comfortable to shoot, even for shooters with larger hands. CZP 10 and M. While CZ proved it could make a great polymer frame pistol with its P07 and P09 handguns, CZ took its time striking out into the striker fired market. If CZ was waiting to introduce the P10 series because they were taking their time to perfect the trigger, they succeeded. The P10M from CZ is the scaled and slimmed down version of the P10, specifically to be a competitor in the Micro 9 market. Simplicity is what the P10M is all about. It features a handsomely beveled slide, low-profile luminescent sights, and an absence of external controls. The slide stop is internal and can only be disengaged by racking the slide rearward and releasing. There is also no external takedown lever or mechanism, rather a takedown pin that must be drifted out for disassembly. Unlike some other competitors, it features a single-slot accessory rail. Capacity is the P10M's weak point. It uses double to single stack magazines that hold seven rounds each. The CZP 10 n does have one of the slimmest grips available in micro 9mm, especially at the top. The texturing on the back of the grip feels pretty aggressive and a little painful, but that could easily be tamed with some sandpaper. It's a comfortable and accurate pistol to shoot, and very concealable. Glock 43X Glock took their best-selling Glock 43 and added four rounds to it. Adding capacity to the Glock 43, the 43X incorporates a 3.41 inch barrel and slim frame with front and rear cocking serrations. It also features a 10 round magazine, a significant boost over the standard G43 6 rounds. You won't find a lot of frills, but if you're a fan of Glocks, you know what you're getting a reliable pistol that's ultra comfortable to carry and shoot. While the grip is longer, it's not that much longer than the original Glock 43 if you've had the pinky rest on it. The Glock 43X's frame is technically a couple of millimeters wider as well. However, you would have to look very hard to notice that tiny difference. The grip fills your whole hand. Couple that grip with a short barrel, and you have a very well-balanced firearm. It has good sights and is simple to operate. The 9mm caliber is a reasonable stopper, and even those who don't like Glocks won't argue with the reliability of a Glock. The Glock 43X is easy to learn to shoot and carries enough ammunition in the supplied magazine, and larger magazines are available. CP 365 XL Another popular Micro 9 is Sig Sauer's P365 series, a polymer striker-fired gun that fits nicely into the ultra-compact niche. Sig upgraded the Sig P365 to create the Sig P365 XL, not long after releasing the P365. This version has a 12-round mag. That makes the grip is as tall as the original version was with the extended mag. This helps with reloads. Plus, the trigger is upgraded to a X-Series flat trigger. The P365 XL has an overall length of 6.6 .6 inches and is 1.1 inches wide and sports an impressive 12 plus one round capacity. It also comes optics ready with day or night sights and an X-Series straight trigger. Its ergonomics offer a great balance between concealability, capacity, and shootability. SIG also extended the beaver tail, and it feels much better than the original SIG P365. SIG also cut the slide for you to install a red dot. They even developed a slimmer Romeo Zero red dot that fits it perfectly. It's a little more expensive than the original, but well worth it as one of the best concealed carry guns. 